Hey guys, I'm here with Matt. It's day one. Wait, why am I putting two fingers up? Hey guys, Hello. it's day one. I'm here with Matt. So one of you guys requested a gift guide for him. And I thought that was such a good idea because I struggle to shop for guys all the time. A lot of these gifts can be unisex too. It doesn't have to just be for a male figure in your life, whether it's your dad, your cousin, your brother, your uncle, your boyfriend, your fiance or husband, or whoever it is for. We just have a few different gift ideas, so we're gonna get right into it. What are we starting with? Let's start with clothes. Let's start with clothes. Okay, so clothes might not seem like the most exciting option, ah. per Matt's words. <laughs> <laughs> But I think sometimes it can be really nice, especially if your guy really doesn't spend that much time shopping for himself and he could use some nicer or warmer items, such as pajama pants. And they don't have to be overly pricey. We found most of the stuff at Marshalls, but I thought this one was a really nice festive pair, 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. You Very like comfortable, it. breathable. Which is important to him because he gets warm easily. Yep. And that pair is perfectly with a pair of slippers. <laughs> we just have one more item in the clothing category. And that'd be like a nice jacket or sweater because you can't really have enough of those, especially if you're living in really cold climate. I picked this one out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's be real. I picked the pajama pants out too. <laughs> and the um, slippers. I had a lot of input on the slippers. <laughs> But I thought this was really interesting because it has like a nice high collar. But it's also weatherproof. It feels really like you, you wear it and you, and you feel very warm and yeah. cozy. You're ready to brave the weather, whatever, whatever it might be. For the guy who travels a lot, a great idea is a toiletry bag. And not just a toiletry bag, but a toiletry bag filled with the necessities, such as... This is actually called Man on the Go. I thought that was freaking hilarious. Man on the Go. What does it have in there? Uh, there is a bar of soap, a comb, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, and shaving cream, and a shaver, like a little razor blade. And everything is TSA approved, so you can take it with you on the plane. Um, I usually like to keep one of these around just in case I forget my actual toiletry bag, so I can just grab this and like and just head out the door. So, yeah. always nice to have it. It's good to have refillables pretty yep. much just because, you know, eventually your guy's gonna run out of it. So yeah. it's, I think it's very thoughtful to yeah. not just get this, but also get like necessities to go in yeah. it. You can always just add to it too. Like, yeah, totally. you know, if you know your, your guy or girl wears contacts, add some some TSA approved, was it three ounce, four ounce containers worth of um, contact solution, et cetera. Oh, et cetera. right, yeah. yeah. They're definitely more. And so. you know what, I also love that this bag is actually called Penguin. How appropriate. But it actually has some like different compartments. We yeah. found this one at Marshall's too. So once again, you don't have to spend a ton. Like this actually yeah. is a really nice one. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah it's lined so if your contact solution busts open, which mine does that all the time, uh, everything gets contained. And then on the bottom is kind of a slip resistant Oh, down yeah. here, so it's kind of nice Nice too. detail. We'll try to find links to all these items, but if not, I'll definitely look up some more for you guys, and I'll have it all linked down below in the info. Down below. All right, the next category, Matt knows all too well. Food, the foodie in your life. The guy who likes to cook. Yep, so this is by Lodge. It's a cast iron skillet, and the awesome thing about this is like you can cook it on like an open pit, campfire, uh, stove top, and then like let's say you're searing something off and you need to finish in the oven, this is oven proof, so use oven mitts, put it in the oven, take it out with oven mitts, and um, yeah, it's, it's super durable. I love cooking steaks in this thing. Yeah. It's, it's great, yeah. It's, it's heavy. <laughs> heavy duty. And speaking of food, you know, I, I personally love like acts of service. I think that's like my love language. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you really have no idea what to get for your guy, you can just cook him a nice meal. Like. Who would not love that? I would love that. So you could cook the nice like holiday meal or his favorite cookies or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you know, in the same realm of acts of service, you can always just put together like a little picnic basket of like things that he or she likes. So like a little movie, a little popcorn, yeah. something like that, something fun. You can just do, like, like a date night. Date night, exactly. If it's your significant other, that yeah. is. Last but not least, the techie. And I think we're just very practical people in terms of like what we've chosen for the most part. Yeah. There are like the standard go-tos, which I think a lot of times if they burn through a lot of like memory, memory's probably the right word, yeah. but it, um, a hard drive, 
Can't really have enough of those. Nope. We both definitely feel very hard on that. Yep. <laughs> hard, hard drive, yes. And then also an SD card. He actually got me this some time ago. So these are very unisex, just depending on what your person does yeah. or enjoys. Like maybe you have a lot of music or even movies. It doesn't even have to be work related. This is a 128 gig SD card. He knows me well, because I go through SD cards like <laughs> it's nobody's business. But I think, you know, these are just great, like, go-to tech items to have. Hey, why is it so dark in here? We've been playing <laughs> around with this. It is the Wemo switch. Wemo. This is good for those who are very into gadgets and things. Right? Yeah, and it's like, you know, th there's a lot of talk about, like, smart houses. So, like, being able to control your house with your smartphone in some way, shape, or form. So, turning on your lights, your, your heaters, your fans. You know, even even starting a, a coffee machine or something like that in, in bed, like this yeah. this could do. And he's able to do this just through his phone. Yep. And how far can you be? Like you can be anywhere. Yeah, you can be anywhere. Like you uh, can be you, anywhere. Because I've been controlling this with just my um, cell phone, just like connect, just connected to your cellular. Yeah. So say you service. have, I guess say you have this device attached to, like we have it attached to my softbox right now, but it could be to anything, like a lamp. Mm -hmm. And then you're like 20 miles away doing something. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I need to turn this light on so that no one breaks into my house. Yeah. You can adjust, you can turn it on right down yeah, there. Just pretend like, you know, you can set your, your auto timer on here, like at what time to what time do you want it to be on and go off. And, or even if, um, let's say it's a cold day and you know that in the morning when you wake up, you want the heater to be on so you can come out to a warm room in your bathroom, mm -hmm. so your the floors or your, you know the toilet and isn't cold. But, <laughs> but why can't you just go over there and turn it on? Because <laughs> then you're already like you're in bed. You're like cocooned, you're cocooned right now. <laughs> wraps it up if you guys have any more ideas because I know there are a ton more please share it down below this would probably help a lot of us out including myself give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and definitely stay tuned for day two see you guys tomorrow